Aaron Royal, what do we say about this uh, effort? Congratulations, Noosa champion. Must uh, be a nice feeling about an hour on since you win. Yeah, no, it is a nice feeling. Um, there's been some great champions before us, won this event, and uh, I came here confident, but you know, a lot of people have uh, targeted this race, so you know, I was confident, but had a lot of respect for the guys that I was up against. Your form in the last couple of years has, you know, you're really starting to progress and, and you know, you're becoming this uh, a guy that we can depend on to be there, you know, crunch time in most races. Do you feel that, you know, wins like today vindicate the, the work that you've done for the last couple of seasons? Yeah, for sure, you know, my, uh, and th that, uh, got to um, credit my coach a lot for that, you know, we don't rush in, we haven't rushed into things over the last couple of years and it's been a long-term development pathway and, and I've always been one that hasn't, um, matured quickly it's always been one that I've been a late developer so we've worked hard on that and, and I think I'm starting to reap the benefits now. Late developer I don't know about that you're still moving pretty well it, for you though like as a young bloke you know and and you know it tends to be that this push to go and do as much as you can and how hard is it to have the handbrake on at times? Yeah it is and that's uh it, it's just hard sometimes you know you, um, you sort of want to do everything and, and at times uh, your coach has to step in and, and tell you to just step back a bit, you know, and, and it's, it's hard sometimes because I, I was wanting to go well in the series. I really wanted to, in the WTS series, wanted to get a top 10 and, and my coach made a call that we'll st sit out of Stockholm World Championship Series and, um, you know, at the time it was hard to do, but in the end I, I ended up qualifying for Commonwealth Games and so it made, it made a big call. So, yeah, you know, you, you want to do a lot, you want to do everything and, and um, especially when you feel like you're in good form, but um, sometimes it's not possible. Been a couple of weeks of good form to you. Talk us through today's race. The, the feeling going in was that this was going to be, you know, red line from the start. And uh, standing there at the start line, are you sitting there thinking, man, this is going to just jump? Is it really a nervous time? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I was nervous, don't, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot more relaxed than, uh, say, the ITU races, you know. The ITU like to build things up and they, uh, you know, you, you, you're literally shaking at the start of a race in the ITU races, and this one's a lot more relaxed. You look at the atmosphere around you, you know, you look at all the age group athletes having fun as well. Um, the swim, I mean, I, I felt comfortable, I felt good, and I didn't want to go and push the pace. I, I, I wanted to leave that to other people that, you know, the, the good swim bike, real good swim bikers. Um, so the, the, the swim was fairly comfortable, but, but um, enough to sort of get rid of a, a couple of um, key contenders early on. Uh, the bike was hard. But I didn't have to. Um, I didn't have to see the front. You know, I left that to other guys as well that that um, probably weren't as strong on the on the on the run. So, you know, I was just aiming to, to hang in on hang on the bike and, and um, get onto that run and see see what I had. And that must be confidence for you to sit there on the bike and know that you're doing a really good job and, and you're comfortable and you you know the, the top end IT you guys like yourself have that that 31 minute uh, 10k in your back pocket ready to unleash a noosa. Yeah, of course. You know. Uh, uh, but I, there was a couple other good runners in our pack that I was that I was worried about. You know, that Cam, Cam Good, Ryan Bailey, um, Dan Wilson, and they showed today by coming one, two, three, four. And uh, I was cautious of them, but I knew that um, if I could get away early and on the run and and, and assert a gap, that um, they might start running for second and third rather than for first. And, and I think that's maybe what happened today. Now you booked a Commonwealth Games spot. Again, that's just money in the bank, isn't it? To have that already done and, and you know where your season, you can focus around uh, the rest of the season. Is that for you going forward? The plan is just to say, well, okay, end game is Commonwealth Games and how are we going to get to that? Absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll take a break now and won't think of anything to do with triathlon. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for that for a while and uh, enjoy, enjoy a drink or two over the next couple of weeks. And um, after that, I'll sit down with my coach and, and look at how we're going to prepare for Commonwealth Games. But... Yeah, you know, obviously it's a massive advantage. You know, there's going to be people uh, fighting it out hard for for the spots early on next year, and I can sort of sit. You know, obviously I want to go well. There's still a series, and there's good money to be made in the series as well. But obviously the um, the major goal is Commonwealth Games, and I can sort of sit back a bit early on, and with less pressure going into the races, knowing that I've got my spot and. Um, I just have to prepare for Commonwealth Games. Finally, uh, the honour roll here at Noosa is stacked. I mean, both women's and men's honour roll is, is astounding at the, the sort of talent. What does it mean for you to get your name on that honour roll and to, you know, be listed amongst some of the legends in Australian triathlon? Oh, it, it feels great. You know, it's, it's such an honour. Um, I know that sounds a bit cliche, but it really is. That you look at who's who's come before, and I think Waldo must be the king of, king of Noosa and... Uh, I think we're still a minute behind his record and I'm sure he did that out in front by himself so it shows shows how good he was and, and someone mentioned mentioned to me earlier on that the guys that go that win Noosa generally go on to win uh, 
go on to good things. So if I can go on and do some of the things that some of those guys in front of me have done, then you know, I'll be pretty happy at the end of the day. Well, mate, uh, congratulations. It was an outstanding effort today. It's been an outstanding year for you. A big push forward. Looking forward to you heading into the Commonwealth Games, leading the men's charge. Thanks very much.